Hey, Trash It is back with another exciting episode with the usual crew of um, Celia, Funcho, Quiet Francis. And obviously, for those that don't know, we have an MC in the house. Dan Shima is not just all suited up for Trash It alone. The guy brings it on the mic 24 seven. So we're gonna put his um, Instagram handle and then you can reach him for any MC, be it for birthday, be it for wedding, be it for everything. You cover a funeral, don't you? <laughs> anything. Yeah, anything. Anything. Danjuma is your guy. And as usual, we always bring in virgins. So on this lovely episode, we have Kim Muffin in from Nigeria. You can see he reps Nigeria all week. Hail, mm -hmm. welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> now, women, and I'm not being stereotypical, generally do have issues with their husband's friends. So the topic we're trashing today is, are guys who help their friends hide their cheating ways? Are they good friends? You know, some people are not good people, but are they good friends? Celia, you know me and you, we vibe on a, on a reg, and woman to woman. Mm -hmm. Let me go to you first. Okay. And okay. guys who help their friends to hide their cheating ways, are they really good? Because it's obvious they do not want their friend's relationship to collapse. So this is me trying to be the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. But do you actually think they're good friends? Oh, if you don't want your friend's relationship to collapse, then you need to stop him from making the mistake that could cause the relationship to collapse. A lot of guys always know when their friend is about to cheat, right? Because they will call them and say, oh guy, if my wife call you, tell her I did your house. Tell her I don't did this this morning. So as a good friend that does not want your friend's marriage to come to an end, you're supposed to ask them, where, where you they go? Why are you supposed to like that kind of life for you? If you they go see another friend, tell your wife where you they go now. But no, they will be the flag bearers and say, okay, yes, no, I'll, I'll go tell and say you did it. That's not a friend because you don't know what your friend is about to go and do. A lot of things can happen. Number one, he can go and impregnate another woman. Hmm. Number day. two, he can go and get an STD or a, a viral disease like HIV, okay? And bring it home to the wife. And before you know it, that marriage will collapse. And not just normal collapsing. Everybody is now a carrier of HIV and hopefully, maybe not hopefully, but it could then develop into AIDS. So if you want to be a friend to your friend, right? If you know they are going to go and straff another woman out there, tell them not to do it. They took a vow, okay? They took a vow, except you two, you are doing the same thing and you two, you are, your friend is also covering for you. So that's why they can call you. Because I don't think any friend can call my husband now and say, oh, cover for me. Now, me, if once I know, ha, you just know your secret is not safe, period. Okay. So guys, you see what the issue is or what our problem with good friends in quotes that hide this treatment. Now, Francis, you're one quiet human being. But based on our concern that Celia has beautifully voiced out, Okay. What is your time? How good of a friend are you really and truly if you are helping your friend to hide their cheating ways? Well, so um, I wouldn't say I'll, I'll be helping somebody um, actively do anything like that. Well, you'll um, be doing if, it actively. Yeah, but if somebody, for instance, um, is trying to do something like that and, they, and I know about it, if I say actively, that means that I wouldn't actually say oh the person is with me if they're not actually with me i wouldn't actively do that mm -hmm. but if i know they're doing something like that um i would just advise them to stop and uh, i wouldn't take it as my place to be telling their wife i feel i would just ask them to stop um so i'm not sure if that still comes into that category of helping them to hide their cheating um that's what i said actively um uh, but obviously cheating is a good thing and we know the long-term effect on marriages uh, and uh, how eventually um, uh, things go down. So um, I say that um, somebody doing anybody doing that is not, it's not a good thing. Uh, you're not being a good friend um, because at the end of the day, um, the price is huge, and um, you wouldn't have, have 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 actually been a friend to your friend um, if things collapse. Yeah. So that's okay. What I Sorry, Francis. Let me just ask you. So yeah. if your friend said to you, oh, Francis, I'm going out. If, if my yeah. wife asks you where I am, just tell her I'm in your house. Would you then say, okay. And if that wife calls you, would you then say, Michael is in my house? Really? Would you, would you say that? Yeah. So no, I wouldn't say, first of all, 
I, I wouldn't want to be involved in that. So I, I, I would just categorically just deny that or decline to, to help exactly. anybody do that. So if somebody said, oh, um, I'll tell my wife I'm with you. Um, I remember this is, um, I'm saying it because um, the person actually doesn't know this happened. I remember mm -hmm. I used to live in a different place in, in, in England. Uh, I used to live in Wales, yeah, before mm -hmm. I, came, I came to London. And um, I just said somebody, and um, they were telling their partner that, oh, actually, their wife told me like, oh, yeah, oh, that's you. Um, my, my husband used to come come and see you in Wales. So in my mind, I was like, wow. okay. okay. So in, something like that, I yeah. wouldn't dare and then say, oh, no, he doesn't actually come to see me. So then we on our way to, I think, buy, buy like a wine or something. I was like, yo, what? why are you telling your wife you actually come to see me because... You ain't been to see me. No, so, so that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't actively, you know, but there and there, if something like that happened, I wouldn't also tell the wife, oh, no, he wasn't coming mm. to see me because. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so you cover actually... for that person. Now, she, who shall take you to the streets? Does that make you. <laughs> yeah. Take you to the street for me. Does this make you a good friend if you are actually helping your friend to hide their cheating ways? Mm. You're thinking. Uh, bearer. Uh, <laughs> so the issue is, it is not my place to tell the wife that your husband is cheating. Well, but you're going to help your friend? I would help my friend also. So you will the, tell your friend, yes, your husband is in my house. I will tell my friend not to use my name or my place to lie. But if he's cheating and I see it actively, mm -hmm, it is not my place to tell. Because... In the end, when they set to our fight all the bass, 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 they will end up in their bed. And the wife will not say, hmm, but I will be able to. You know, I don't know how to say it, but what I'm trying to say in a sense is that if my friend wants to cheat, fine. Uh, it's not good. Don't do it. You know, that kind of thing. I'll try to, like, talk to him. If he doesn't want to listen, this is his choice. This is a man of himself. Here he gets. So if he wants to cheat, so be it. But me, I'll not pick up my phone and tell the wife that your husband is cheating. No, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. If my friend telling my um, his wife that, oh, I'm going to see Fusha, I'll tell him, no, don't use my name. Next time you do it, if she asks, I tell her, you have not come, I didn't see you. I don't know anything. She gets. So when I tell the wife, no. When I encourage the guy, no. So, but if he wants to do cheating and I know about it, so be it. No problem. I'll just look it. Okay. Can I ask something before I go to him and Danjuma? Given what you've just said, don't you think hanging with people who would sacrifice their integrity by cheating, you're exposing yourself to a bad influence? Mm -hmm. I, so I, I think I said it before on this show that uh, growing up, I had friends that smoke and drink and all those things, but I never did till date. And we're very young, so we're not chasing girls yet at that point. When, when we're in secondary school, and I, was, and I started chasing girls very late in life when I got into the university and like that. So uh, although I became a <laughs> chairman in the field, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I would not be influenced. Whatever I want to do, I do it myself. It doesn't mean that because everybody is doing it around me, I have to do it also. No, I'm a man of myself and I make my own decisions myself. Okay. Kim, men are always very protective of each other. Hmm. They're like this bro code, I got you. You are the best thing since sliced bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why is this bro code that you guys kind of generally have? Why is it that you are kind of protective of your men folk with a lack of better word when it comes to cheating? Well, um, the bro code is to keep the brotherhood together. <laughs> I think uh, that is the essence. But is it right? No. Mm -hmm. um, I... I remember, I think it was about two or three years ago. Uh, I don't know if some of us watched this video of Bovi and his wife. Ah. <laughs> you guys watch it? Yeah. Yes. So, yo, Bovi was actually there with the wife. They were calling friends to ask them or to tell them that, oh, uh, she was calling the friend to say, oh, have you seen my husband with things like that? You understand? So I don't know exactly um, why some people do that. But if you ask me, I will tell you that, um, like Punshaw said already, don't use my name. But in order to help that person out is to let that person know that what you're doing 
is wrong. First of all, let the person know that what he's doing is wrong. Because sometimes um, what I feel about the way we judge things in Africa, or let me say in Nigeria in particular, we mm-hmm. jump to the conclusion without actually knowing what is happening. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's this thing we call holistic method of approach to things. Mm-hmm. You dig into the history of that particular thing. No, why is this man cheating? Is your wife not satisfying you at home? You understand me? Is there any problem? You understand? So I was watching a program and, and it happens that this woman and the, and the husband were not sleeping on the same bed and she actually um, um, planned to kill the husband. She actually killed him. When the police came, the first thing they asked her, they asked her, hey woman, when was the last time you had sex with your husband? And she said, she just, she just lose it. She said, hey, get out of my house and things like that. The police now said, okay, this is where we should focus our attention in this investigation. So I, I don't want to I don't want to just generalize here and say that oh it's wrong or something like that. For me, this is my stand. I will not support cheating. I will advise you, but I will first of all want to know what is happening. Because if you said you are in my house and you are not in my house and you didn't let me know, and your wife called, I said, Oh, no, I've not seen your husband. You know, like it sounds somehow, you know, some of us have been in, in, let me say, a couple of relationships whereby we've lied and then you go to another place and then you see, you realize that you didn't actually cover your track that well. Mm-hmm. And it exposed. So, and then you are now left dry. So for me, I would just say that let's know what is happening in the family. If we have any advice for them, we can do that. But if you just say, oh, you are hiding because maybe uh, he tells you this part of the story and you didn't hear from the wife or you don't know, because if you are actually his good friend, you should be able to know the relationship between him and the wife and you should know what is happening in the family before you can jump into that. Uh, uh, All right. Let me let me morph this a bit. Yeah. Your wife, you, you've been part of this relationship. The wife is a good woman. She cooks. Yeah. She sleeps with him. She's the best thing that has ever happened to your friend. Well, your friend is just a serial cheat. Okay. At <laughs> what point do you now be a, that good friend and say, okay, come, you are the problem. Yeah. Rather than help him hide. So w- w- how good of a friend are you? you? The wife is not the problem here. Yeah. Your friend is just a wandering prick. Okay. With the lack of better word. I think, I think uh, the whole issue here is that just let him understand what he has at home. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because, you know, sometimes like um, I, I listen to a lot of, I watch a lot of programs and the way people talk about men, the way men are wired and the way women are wired, you know, sometimes it got me pissed off one day and a guy was saying that men are meant to be uh, polygamous. And I got, I got really angry. I said, look, if a man is cheating, he's cheating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If a man is cheating, he's cheating. This one, I cannot stand here and say that, oh, I'm protecting someone because he's a man. Let him know the quality in his wife. Let him know, understand that this woman is the woman he chose out of all the women. You understand? So if he cannot understand that, then I think it is time for me to distance myself a little bit from that relationship so that at least I will save myself from any kind of trouble that will come later. Mm-hmm. But I will let him understand that, look, you have a good wife. You have a good wife. And, and, and the Bible made us to understand that he who finds a wife finds, finds a, good, a good thing. thing. Pastor. Pastor. Sorry, how did you guys meet you and Funshaw? Because ah, see, Celia, I feel oh, like water and oil. Funshaw, please don't spoil Come into my head. Like, where did hey, Kion pick Funshaw <laughs> up? Well, let's take it out of the church <laughs> and take it to the streets and pick Danjuma up. Danjuma, would you lose a good friend due to his excessive cheating? Because based on what Celia said, Francis, Kim, Funjo, all of you have the, the opinion that, well, we all know cheating is not good. But you are essentially the friend that they use as cover whenever they do this thing. But no. this is a very good friend. <clears throat> this is someone that's always been there for you. This is someone that's brought you business deals or from business deals. If you were to need blood, this guy would donate. As Kiam said, I'm going to distance myself. Would you lose a good friend 
due to the excessive cheating that is now morphing into putting you into trouble? No. Okay. He's my friend. I'm yes. not the wife. I'm not the friend of his wife. That's the truth. He's my friend. If we're friends, we flock together. I will defend him, but I will not facilitate his cheating habit. God bless I won't you. use his name to use me to cheat because it will eventually crop up into my own home. But I would not stop him from what he's doing because the truth of the matter, everybody is open to his own opinion, whatever they do and satisfy them. I can't stop him from doing that. And I will not advise him to not st to stop it if he wants to stop it. That's his own beat. But saying that I will lose him, I won't lose him as my friend. Because women would not tell their, their husbands, their friend's husband, that their, their friend is cheating. Never. They will keep it to themselves. No woman will sure? go to her husband and say, no woman will go and say, tell your husband, your, your, husband, your wife is cheating on you. She will never do it. She will only advise a friend to stop, but she will never speak. And she will defend a friend if his friend comes to the friend. So it's the same thing that happens. If, if that's the kind of friend you have, so be it. If you can influence you, that's your own beat. If you cannot influence you, that's your own beat. So it depends on what all friendship are. That friendship for different reasons. There's some people you've been friends forever. Women come between you, it happens, but he's still your friend. So I would not... I would not, but I won't facilitate his habit. Um, doesn't mean that it's not my friend. I would I would not. I, I will just quickly put an example to what uh, Danjima just said. I almost lost a friend because of this. Uh, the guy had a girlfriend and um, he had another one on the side. Okay. And I was in the middle. I knew, ah, yeah, oh, why, yeah, oh, why, yeah, oh, why. Yeah, it's people like you. I'll be calling our wife, our wife. You're supporting that too. Uh, no, our wife, our wife, our wife, our wife. Our wife. So the man, our wife, began to suspect. I started asking me, ah, so what's happening now? This and that, and that. I didn't want to say anything. But I got to a point, I just said, that, okay, look out for this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. This picture, whenever there's a picture, there's something like this on it, that is your rival. You know? And the girl got, to, got the wind like that. Eventually, I don't know how it happened. And my friend got to know that probably I said something. He almost ruined so you, have, you, have, you have disgraced your friend. Why did you, you know, give up on him? You would have just kept like, quiet and advised your friend no. not to carry on. <laughs> because you're a bad friend. You are, you, so, what a tough friend I, is friendship. It's, it's different from uh, just a, it's a friend. That you might really go out because you go more. through thick and thin together. Because when the wife leaves you tomorrow, is this friend that you still be with? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That I cherish my friendship. You guys so have much. shared money. You've made things together. You will not deny him last minute. I, so yeah, my friend so much. I love my friends so much. I think I think future is good as I know it won't happen again. Never. That was the first Okay, but can I ask both yourself, Funsha and Danjima, before I go to Francis and Kiyom and then to um, Celia? What if your partner then finds out and start like you, the wife now finds out that your supposed best friend is a serial cheat and start tainting you with the same blood and you are not the cheat? Would you fess up at this point and then throw your friend under the bus? Make she face her market. She, she face her market. market. Okay. No market. Okay. I take Cosina. Sorry, Danjima. Danjima, let me ask you now. So, you go out and you see my husband, yeah? Because mm. you're like you're my brother, basically. Yeah. yeah. You see my husband mm. in a very compromising position with another woman. This one is not maybe they were talking business. No, they yes, headlocks yes. and they're kissing French. So yes, you're not gonna yes. tell me. Never. Well, that is different. Okay. But Bora is never. I will never do it. So what would you business. say to my husband then? You wouldn't Nothing. say anything either, right? I'll give okay. it from top. You will mind your business. Because you know what I'm saying? The home is balanced. So why do uh, I now tell the home that is balanced? If the home is unbalanced, it's different. The home the is going forward. What's not my business? But how would you know my home is balanced? For now, yeah. for because example. Not complain to me. Mm -hmm. If you are complaining to me, there's uh, different. There's uh, book, there's uh, booze bars at home, it's different. There's Buhara. Wait, There's no Buhara. Wait, well, the man wait. has gone to just cozy himself. I have no position to correct him. Celia, could you please define that brother again? You know, like no, no, no. my brother. No, uh -huh. Danjima is like. Are you blood related? No, we're not related. <laughs> not biologically. I will tell you. Yeah, no, not biologically. <laughs> well, I will yeah. tell you then. If we are blood related, I will tell you. Puncho, if we are not blood related, Puncho, ah, Puncho, if you're blood related. You see your sister's husband with another woman and you speak, Puncho, the, the, the outcome, you might not like it. I, honestly, yeah, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys, I think I might be sister. able to tell a friend 
that her husband or his wife is cheating mm -hmm. than my sibling because I just, I just, I don't think I can tell my brother or my sister that their husband or their wife is cheating exactly. on them. Celia, oh, but why not? You I, I because, because I don't, I don't want to break that home. But you can break your friend's home. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go to Kion and then yeah. I'll go to Francis. Yeah, I'm interested in what you have because Celia is very close to me. She, she sees me talk about that now. She'll tell me, but she can't tell someone. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, right. yeah, this, is, this is this is like um a true life story. Um, it's not it's, it has nothing to do with cheating, but you know um my my blood sister uh, happens to have some issues with the husband, and the husband had kicked her out by two a.m. And she came to my place barefooted. Wow. You understand? Barefooted. So, and we actually, um, I called my, my elder brothers, two of them, they were like ahead of me. So I called them and we, were, we went to confront him. Like what happened? So to actually know, uh, it was not something big, just like, oh, I said, don't talk to this person in the compound. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking to him? That was all. You understand? So it reached a level. Let me tell you this. We reach a level to an extent. My immediate elder brother said, look, you have to pack your things and go. You understand? You wouldn't be the first person to be a divorce uh, 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 a woman. You understand me, right? So there is one thing that uh, we have this thing in Africa that, or, or let me just say in Nigeria, that marriage is like forever, for better, for worse. No, mm. I don't believe that. Mm. If I am not satisfied today, you are going. You understand me, right? Yeah, you understand everything that is real. We are going, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before now, Kion has Wait. now brought out the dagger. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you, well, I'm just telling you, forget about look. I I what scripturally I am okay. You understand okay. me, right? I, mm. I understand where the position of the Bible when it comes mm -hmm. to marriage. You understand me? But if you are not satisfied, why not allow that person to be free? To go. Mm -hmm. You understand well, me? Person, because, but the person don't want to go. No, so no, do do? no, 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 no. It's not that the person doesn't want to go. You understand me, right? You are gone. If, if you know your strength. You know your weakness. I know a lot of people will say that, look, this part, I am weak. This part, I am okay. You understand me? Look, and, and one thing is that if you, if, you, if you always look at yourself, like you are the one gaining, you understand me, right? That is where the problem is. Because you are not considerate. What? You know, you don't want to consider what she's going through. I know of a friend, very, very close related. Today, she said her husband does not even touch her for six months. More oh, than yes. six months. <laughs> Kion, Kion. You understand me, right? Kion, Wait, listen. Let you me have finish. said it. That's what she said. Yes. Wait, There's, let me finish. When it comes six to conflict, there's a three-way answer. Yeah. The man, the woman, and the, and and the, the truth. truth. The yeah. fruit we never see. Wait, I'm talking as an HR you. professional here now. Yeah, okay. Wait. When you're managing this conflict, yeah, do not always believe one party. No, that is that is what I'm saying. What I'm okay. trying to Carry let on. you know, what I'm trying to let you know is that this man doesn't satisfy this woman at home. How do you know what is satisfaction? Or what no. degree? Because because look let me learn you understand me, learn, right? learn, learn, learn. This, yeah, this, yeah, issue, yeah, this thing brought a lot of issues to, 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 to for an extent that they brought in our family they brought his family together to ask he said that oh it's too much stress from work but guess okay. what but guess what this man had sex enhancement drugs in his bags. Is Whenever he is traveling, uh -huh. he got sick and the wife was the one handling his phone because she never touched his phone. So all of a sudden, chat started coming in. She saw even ladies sending him naked pictures. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. He okay. was watching porn. That means he, uh, he was no more sexually attracted to his wife. Mm -hmm. no. So so he would have advised that early. Yeah, this is what's okay, happening. You know what? 
<laughs> Let me go to Francis because Francis is awfully quiet there. From what everyone is saying, like we've gone to church, we've gone to HR level, some people took it as far as uh, different dynamics. Let's bring it home. People tend to see a faithful man as a weak man. Does that make you look stupid when you don't step out out of your relationship? Because the norm, like Kim said, most men think, well, our, our rationale is that we're meant to be polygamous. So when you see someone that is not the norm, that does not cheat, is so faithful, why do you men, women don't see, because we don't have a problem with a, a faithful man. Why do your colleagues in co see men like that as weak? Okay, so um, I think this comes actually from the um, idea of um, women like men who have got options. So technically, like which women? So <laughs> yeah, I was you're okay, really, let me let me clarify. Really, let him let me clarify. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Because ah, this is your play. I don't know where it's going. Okay, so so, <laughs> so I'm ready for those kind of women. Yeah? Okay, let me clarify the direction of travel of this. Please yeah. clarify. So, so what happens is, so for instance, um, when a man meets a woman and obviously they're together and stuff like that, um, most men will want, or most, let me, no, no, let me talk about men, let me talk about women. Most women want a man that obviously seem to, or other women want for a man that can attract other women. So for instance, um, you are going out with a guy and or you a guy is approaching you and nobody seemed to want this guy not even your friend nobody seemed to see feel like oh, this guy so I don't know if you get my point so I get you enter, let's, let's say you can enter a church or a club or any social setup and nobody is checking and him out every woman seems to be walking mm -hmm. away from you no woman want to be the one approaching you no woman so it's the same sort of concept that applies in, in relationships. If you're in a relationship, most these days people talk, talk about alpha male, beta males, so weak man, strong mm. man, and stuff like that. That is where this comes from. So you want a man that, or most women want a man that when they step away, their friends will oh, this guy. Everybody wants this guy. That doesn't mean that they expect a guy to cheat. Mm. You understand? So unfortunately, some men seem to um take this to uh, I, <laughs> and they're saying that oh okay um if they are with their boys boys or their bros um they want to show that oh i mean mm. they can still pull some men to this thing relationship for too long they feel like let, let them try they yeah, try their so, game yeah they're losing they're losing that sort of spark of being able to pull men so they want to try just to impress their, their friends yeah so having said that um just to take back to what you said, uh, your, your, what you were asking. Um, honestly, I don't condone to that. But if I'm not married, that's different. I feel if you're married, you made that decision to marry and stay with somebody. You should continue to do that. You don't need to do that to prove yourself. If your man has got um, um, things doing, like you've got men, like you've got a purpose in life, you've got things you are working on, you're a busy mm -hmm. man, you wouldn't really have the time to be, because that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, these days, Following women around, it takes money and time, like um, yeah, um, you said. It's, uh, it takes a lot of money and time. So if you have got nothing to do, then probably you've got the time to do that. But if somebody has got time, but they've got, they are busy doing other things, important things, I don't think they have got that time. Sometimes, again, let me don't generalize it because things can happen as well. Someone might be working with someone in the office. They might uh -huh. be doing what things, going way? to the gym. <laughs> they might just meet each other and they just click, mm. you know? And sometimes things just happen so fast. And then someone will come to your sense like, oh, what am I doing? Mm. I mean, I'm a married person, I'm a married man, I'm a married woman. So things happen. So if you put everything into perspective, I mean, things can happen, things change. We see this happen. People might be married. They don't even spend time at home. They spend time with other people elsewhere, in church, in, in work, in school, wherever they are. And sometimes, when people spend time with people, things things might develop. I mean, people establish bonds, relationships, friendships. It might then people start confiding in other people. Things can happen, but then it's it's up to you to be able to um, just sit back and then just say, "Oh, I'm married. Let me not do this." So okay. things can happen sometimes, but I don't condone to that. But unfortunately, it happens. Right. some guys yeah. are generally cheat as well. They are players. They're married. 
the guy, the girl know knew this guy is a player. They are bad, but these days people sell women like bad boys. But bad most men. women want to change the man. They can't change the man. They, they, that's that. what they think. I that they can change, change the man. The man being. Unfortunately, you can't change the man. Mm. So the man. Uh -huh. So see, some of them know they think, that their yeah. husband is a bit flirty yeah. and is out there, and you want to change him. Marriage yeah. is not change a man. It's, so it's, so get so, the touch from God. Yeah. So to add to what Dajuma is saying, if I have a friend who is already a player and they met this girl they're marrying, and I know this guy keeps cheating, cheating, and cheating, cheating, I'm not, I can't really change the guy because that's how they've always been. And if no. they tell me that they're cheating, I see it, I'm not even going to be bothered because that's how they are. Then when they were dating the girl, the girl knew, apparently other women were going back and forth with this guy they knew, they still felt that, oh, they, they managed to win this guy over mm -hmm. other women. Some they, women they, too want that challenge. Him. Some yes. women want that challenge. Oh, I can change him. I can, I can, yes. I can get him over other girls and then change him and let him be the kind of man I want. Okay. Unfortunately, that's right. happened. And Yuri, Thank Yuri, let me let me support Francis. Yuri, mm. uh, I must tell you, both parties, women and men, face a lot of temptations. Married men, I must tell you, face a lot from single girls. Yeah. Because a ring in the hand is very attractive. You won't believe that. Yeah. For, for you, you might think it's okay. For other people, they love a man that's married. They say he's responsible. And they get, this man get a lot of heat. And if they're not very strong, sometimes they fall. I'm not saying that it's correct. Yeah. But I want to tell you that it's not what you think is in the market is in the market anymore. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. I can and, relate. And, and it, it is not in the position for you <laughs> yeah. to judge another person that he has gone astray because sometimes the temptation is a lot that comes from outside. And the single men are even in competition right now with married women as well. Mm. So married women are in the game. It's not, it's not, it's both, it's both parties that is happening to. So well, Danjuba, not... Danjuba, how do you know this? Because obviously you're a married man and you're saying that single ladies are very attracted to men with rings on their finger. Have you being in situ compromising situations where people <laughs> are very attracted to you. Angela is an MC. I, 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 I work with everybody from walks of life. Mm -hmm. And I have people that are movie directors. They're single. They've been married before, they're divorced. And I can see what's happening in the market. They've told me I have seen. Mm -hmm. As a man, I have been approached by a woman when I went for a friend's wedding. And she told me that, Tanjima, you married? I said, yeah, look at my ring. So wow, so you look quite young. So don't you still like to play? Uh, that was a direct, and I was just doing. I was. Just and there's now forgotten that she is. I, mean. <laughs> I was just doing my job because I was dressing everybody up for the wedding, and that was the exact word that somebody said. It's, it's not saying that. And it's not saying the, the option is not saying. Do, are you? Do you not think you look young? Because now you look attractive, you look young, you're married, you're confused. You know what I mean? That is what is in the market these days. So, so and Danjuma, why is it that faithful men, men that are very faithful, that their friends know that all they have eyes for is for their wife? Why are men like that seen as weak? No, we don't look at them as weak. I don't and I will not look at any man as weak. Because I've been in a situation where I was, in, I was somewhere and men were talking right because it's like it's like men these days they brag they, maybe not you guys on this panel but some men they like He's to brag taking, taking about He's been in how like many that. women do you understand i even i even had a guy telling me they were they had to cheat on their wife because their friends were saying are you mad the fact that you are you married does not men. mean that you should you're not now men. be playing no, those are, those are, they are they have whapped brains so it Please. doesn't mean that you because you are to do what you want to do. It becomes a trend that you have to cheat. No, I don't that. Because Friends they were boasting not... about the girls they have. And they all had the girlfriends' pictures. All of them, about five of them, they had the pictures of the girls they are cheating with on their phone. And they were trying to figure out which one's girl is fine now. Okay. And those the are, one that are... they don't have now stood there like, oh, okay, now you be the Jew inside. We no, we no get any woman <laughs> to show. his own wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were all showing because their girlfriends, not their wives. Finer than their girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Let me. I think, I think so, it has so. to do with your circle of friends. Yes. I have said this earlier on this show sometimes, a number of times that I have a very close knit circle, and I don't think there's any of my friends that would 
that will celebrate cheating like that. I'm not saying that they are saints. Maybe they cheated, I don't know. I'm not crucifying those that are cheating. It's not yes. my place to talk. But we don't sit down and say, ah, show me your girlfriend picture. Show me your girl. That's madness. You get it, 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 Any man that is not... pushing another person to go and do it to say he's weak, I don't think he's a good friend because he's pushing you. That's it's different. If you're facilitating it, it's different. Mm. If you're not facilitating, it's different. So right. if you're if somebody is in the game, that's his own beat. But say you now have to push you, and I always say this thing again as well. Nobody can influence anybody, it's always been been part of you to do it. Hmm. Nobody can push the, the you to do it. Is in your body. The person just I get that just... helped you encourage what your desire was. Hmm. Hmm. I give an example. I've never smoked, and I've been of a, a, a young boy free from very young age. It's not because I don't want to smoke, I don't like it, it's not sweet. You cannot now influence me now to start smoking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's too late. So it's always been in you, but other things facilitated. That's what I think. I might not be correct. But so when they say this friend is making this friend do it, it's wrong. And I always say this thing again, I might be wrong as well. There's another person that can make your partner weak. Our prayer is that, that, that your partner should never see hmm. that person. Amen. That's a very, very good prayer. That's a big prayer. That's it's right. very, very it's not good because prayer. a woman is a bad woman. There are some people you will meet as electric. And you cannot control the electric. Mm. So our prayer is that we should not see our husband and the wife should not meet that person. Because when they meet, they will be like Mumu. They will praise the Mumu, but you will say, is this not this woman? Is she okay? Mm. It's after the thing has cleared, she will not realize that. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I've gone away. And there the are some men, done. There are some yeah. men that have, they've, they've traveled on that woman, left their wife, leave their whole family. Because this one, it's the shark, the brain is touching too much. Mm -hmm. Eventually, after they go, they realize that that was just temporary. It's already mm. too late. The damage has been done. So mm. I do not judge people's action based on all those things because we do not know the emotions staring behind his physics, his chemistry, there's all these things behind. So I leave it to them. If that's what the guy wants to do, hit the highway. That's okay. But I would not say I'll stop being friends with him. He's my man. And he's okay. my man. That's it. Now, Kion, let me come to you. Because when we look at the rate of paternity fraud, apart from Jamaica, Nigeria sits <laughs> up there. There's a lot of married men that have angers on in Nigeria. As someone resident in Nigeria, it's not easy. I'm not saying... Relative speaking, it's, ch it's cheap bad to cheat here in the United Kingdom. It's bloody expensive to Uber someone, to order dinner. We don't do Dutch. You pay everything. It's, it's not cheap. But Nigeria, at least on my hands, based on the research that for every 10 married men, at least 9.5 of them are in some severe relationship. What is in the waters in Nigeria? Um... Really, this is um, something that I I cannot really place my hands on. So you know it's a problem. But yeah, I know it's a problem <laughs> because um, among all my circles of friends, I think I'm the only person that is not married. Yeah. And I listen to them a lot. So one of them, we actually grew up together. We stayed in the same room together, slept on the same bed. And he told me something that actually got me thinking since then. <clears throat> I, I've shared this story with a couple of people that look, that now he's looking for this single mothers or a divorcee or a widow. You understand? Like these are the kind of women that he wants now. And I was like, but you're married. You have a family. Your wife is okay. And she's beautiful. You have uh, two kids and they're okay. He was like, ah, forget about that. Like you are not married. You won't know. Once you are married, you stay six months with your wife, you became like brother and sister. And I was like, how? He said, look, you'll be eating the same thing. At a point, you can lie down there for one week. You don't even have feelings for your wife. Then I said, okay. Uh, then where's the problem? He was like, yeah, it's just, you know, like this, the nature. He's a policeman, actually. The nature of our job and things like I said, no, but look. There are policemen or there are people who are away on special duty, but they can still come back to their wives at home and still embrace them and say, oh, this is my wife. Mm -hmm. I, even back there, 
they are living like a good life, like nothing. I was in Nigeria in 2017 and 2018. And we went together with a Czech guy who, who later came. This guy married a South African. I am telling you this. Every night, this guy would do a video call with his wife for like, he, sometimes he would even fall asleep. He wakes up in the morning. He checks the children. He, they will bring them, like, he will do video call with this person. Check, okay, have you done this? Have you done that? Have you done this? If you dedicate your time to your family, I don't think there's any opening for you to cheat. I, I don't I don't see any opening for you to change. They will find work for people. Mm. Kion, I, Kion, I, 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 I don't Kion. want to totally agree. Kion, wait, 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 guys, hold on. Let Kion I finish. Don't, I need I to go to France as well. Kion, that's the issue. Like Danjuma has said before, there's just one person there. Pray you never meet that person. Yeah, he's a very, very important prayer. Kion. Okay. Pray Kion. you never meet that Kion. person. Always, no matter I'll, how I'll, dedicated, how yeah. committed you are to your wife. Yes. Just pray you never meet that one person out there. And I always say something that might be wrong. If, if you have not experienced something, you cannot advise on it. Yeah. Kion, yeah. until you cross to the marriage, you will not discuss, we will really discuss this matter. But for okay. now, you're advising from an outside perspective. Mm -hmm. I am okay, advising. Francis because, and because the, 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 friend the friend that told you that. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, the people that we marry or people marrying are not necessarily the people that they actually click mostly with. It doesn't necessarily mean that. People, yeah, you correct. might marry somebody for all kinds of reasons. It doesn't mean that mm. that was actually the, the, the most suitable person for you. At the um, time. It, 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 at the time. Yeah. So that's why um, um, Fusha was saying that you could meet that one person. It, it, sometimes it happens. One person was like, oh, my days. Uh, but again, the whole idea of, oh, okay, I'm married, I'm committed. I've got all this to lose. Is it worth it? Is it worth you know? Yeah. Because temptations will come, things will, will come. happen. I mean, um, you can be in a situation and you have to, that's why you have to actually be a man. You can't be a man, man, if the fact that you see a woman and you just have to follow because that's a woman. That's if you right. can't do that, you should have that control and choose that. Oh, this is what I want. So the fact that someone is giving them something doesn't mean that oh, it's like that's all your mind, like that's all that's how you're driven. No, you should have that control. You should be able to say, oh, I'm choosing this, I'm choosing this. I don't want this, I don't want that. And that's a man. So okay. um, let me let me stop. I'll come to you, Kieran, but let me go to Celia. Mm -hmm. They are talking about this temptation, temptation, just throwing temptation. They make it sound as if we don't see temptation. Why is it that we don't fall? Why is it that we don't cheat? Why yeah. is it that we don't stay within my friend and I'll show you pictures? That's the boy I'm strapping. Yeah. Why not? Because see, you guys make it sound as if it's so difficult to stay faithful. Yeah, because that that's the thing. Men always think that they 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 they're the boss when it comes to cheating. Actually, women are the boss when it comes to FBI cheating. Oh, because a husband. woman a woman can cheat and you won't even know. No, for six years. Yeah, a woman can cheat and you won't even know. Okay, forever. Okay, because at the end of the day, just the way men are faced with temptation the way they see the woman with the hourglass figure and the big bomb and we the big we see six packs. exactly that's the way we too we see six parts and not even the six parts we just see a man looking nice looking well trained from top to bottom and we're like okay that that looks that looks nice I'll, i could hit that but then it takes the grace of god for a woman let me put it this way a married woman who understands the attributes of marriage, who understands the reason why she went into that marriage, who understands that when she took that vow, she took the ask, vow, sorry? Is the, can I ask, is God not present in men's life? Why is it only women that God is you speaking see, that's to? The thing. And we're able to dig into that? I think, I think some men are more driven by, by the devil. And when I say the devil, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean they are, thing down there yeah, right she had mother, does have common yes, sense. that's the thing well, see me, see me. Some men are no driven by me. that because no, when no, that thing see sees something and it goes like this okay. it has to enter somewhere and they don't sometimes they don't care where it enters see okay? me, but you're, you're only speaking for yourself and yuri yeah yeah 
when yeah. you say girls, you're speaking because you know you're all married, you know where you are. All these DNA tests were seen, they are negative. It's not the women that cheated, it's the men that cheated. Who impregnated the women? They went outside. Men, men, so they didn't ask you that one. That you, man. Nobody asked you to bring DNA <laughs> test results <laughs> exactly. up. Leave it there. So, Let so it leave saying, those children to enjoy the father that is their you father. You're speaking about yourself. <laughs> so all these fraudulent ones were seen in Nigeria and that's negative. Where did they go? Were they not married? Yeah, yeah, they were married, but don't forget, most of those a woman can get herself pregnant. It was a man. Uh -huh. That man might also so be a she, married man. So it takes two so to she, tango. So, that so we are continuously left, chasing the tail. He left her home and went outside. And the man and also that. the man also left his wife at home and went to meet the married woman outside. Exactly. So yeah. They're not they're, they're, there's there's a so when you guys oh. are pushing it on men, it hurts me a lot because it's now both ways. Because if yeah. his DNA test did not come out, he would have said this man is a devil. Okay, let's and, let's come and I noticed, I noticed something: is the woman that cheat most that get jealous more when the husband go outside? Okay, we will come back on DNA. That's yeah. another topic. Celia and I are going to touch up. Yeah. That but let me go to Kion before I ask the final question. I so you were going to say something, Kion, before I kind of moved yeah, on I'll, to yeah. Yeah, I, I I still want to come back on the, on this on this um uh, and the basis of. Like we are looking at it on the on one side, it's both side. ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it mm -hmm. goes both ways. Yeah, I will agree with you on this, thank you, man. Yeah. Because we have this uh saying in, in Hausa that if the locust beans, if we accuse the rat of stealing the locust beans, then we the should also accuse the locust smell. beans for smelling. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you understand? So, mm. like this thing, the only thing we can say is that we need to work on who you are marrying to, because mm -hmm. really. If that is one thing that if you make a mistake, um, sometimes it's very difficult for you to correct. Yeah. Very difficult to correct. Some people, they live with that. Like they just, they just build this world around them and say, look, when it, I can live my life, but when it comes to marriage, I've already shut down. When it comes to this, I'm shutting down. So, but you see them living their life, but when it comes to that aspect, they are completely gone. So I, I, I want to say that we need to work on ourselves. And if you know that this is something that you cannot deal with in the relationship, don't let it escalate into marriage. Mm -hmm. Because I was a best, a best man to someone and we went for the last day, a day before the marriage, we went to the pastor and the pastor was counseling them. The guy actually went there drunk. You understand? <laughs> so the reverend now said that, look, I can smell alcohol in your sister, but if you drink and come to the church tomorrow, I'm going to disgrace you. Are you sure? That he asked the lady, are you sure you're going to handle this? She said, yes. He said, okay, that mm. is your choice. I won't stop you, but you know that you have to go on your knees every now and then. As I'm talking to you now, they had only one child. She packed her things and left. And left her baby. They are not together anymore because the mm -hmm. guy didn't change. She is, it because of, is it because of alcohol she left him? Not even alcohol. There are other other on the other underlying yeah, things. That's, that's, why, thing. Kion, that's why I told you until you're so, married, you can't speak on it. It's a very, I, very yeah, delicate. I know I, I mm. cannot speak on it, but mm. I want to I want to know how my home is going to be. Mm. So if I'm mm. surrounded by people and somebody is telling is saying this, that person is saying that, these are ideas that they are giving me that oh look, if you are choosing a wife, look for this, look for that. You see, you see, you see, I you always advise me. people, whatever anybody says, do not answer them, do your own. Because yeah. he's talking from his own experience and yeah, remember, yeah. positive or negative. We are not uh, the same and we cannot me, have the same experience. Let me bring yeah. it in a bit as we're rounding up. Let's okay. flip it on the head and I'll go to Funsha. Funsha, how, you said that if your friend is cheating, it's none of your business, you're going to mind your business. How would you feel if you find that that Touch wood. Your other half is cheating, and her best friend has been help has been helping her to cheat or hide her cheating ways. How would you feel? Should she mind her business the way you chose to mind your business? Yeah, she should mind her business. I'll, I'll feel hurt that not that the uh, why would you feel hurt because you just said no, you don't mind you won't. That's what I'm anything. saying. I will feel hurt not not that because my friend's wife didn't tell me, but because my wife is cheating. Mm -hmm. You see, they are different. Uh, it's one of my business if my friend's wife doesn't tell me anything. You understand? That's uh, my responsibility. Yeah, yeah, but my, that my wife is cheating. So I have a psychologist friend. 
and he was like, some guys, most guys have the tendency of forgiving their cheating wife so long as the information is not public. That's correct. Yeah, so if my friend's wife comes to tell me, already there's no forgiveness in that picture again. But if I find out myself, <laughs> yeah, because I believe that my friend's wife would have told the first wife, would have told is other it, friends. Is, so is it because because you're, you're more worried it's, about the change. ego, isn't it? Is it your, exactly, what's on the thing about your ego? No, on me, whether you go or not. Once I catch you cheating, that's the end. <laughs> whether it is public or private. But if they catch you, what happens? Is it the end for you too? Uh, if they catch me, <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Double standard. Okay. Double standard. Let, let me ask all, all you men. Okay. Why is it that you men can't wait to the weekend to go and see your friends? Who is it that you are striving to go and achieve at that weekend? Who is it that you discuss? What is it that you gather around to do that you can't stay at home and do? How to save the world? Which word? Let the married, I, I, let the married I'm, men. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really a weekend friend person. Yeah. Yeah. But what I say is this. Yeah. There are some things you guys talk that will be boring to women. Like I'm. Just, we're talking football. Mo most I women, love football. Most I can people, tell you. Mo mo most, who most, you most, most women will not sit and talk football. The day my wife told me that the, Frank Lampard was sacked or something, I was shocked. I didn't, <laughs> know, I didn't even know the news of Frank Lampard. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because to her, I'm a fanatic when I'm watching my football. Yeah, there are some other things you discuss. You might, men go through struggles, and many women don't understand that. And there's some things you cannot relate to the woman because it, you don't want her to look at you as weak. We go through strong times, and sometimes you have to laze with the guy on oh, this condition. How did you manage this? On this, how did you manage that? So there are other things that we discuss apart from if the people say it's cheating. I, I don't know about that, but there are a lot of things to discuss, and sometimes we have to reassure ourselves on what we're doing because this marriage is not an easy task for us. Because you are the man, you are the figure, and that's where you want to be. And sometimes you have to see people that have gone ahead of you to learn from it. Because it doesn't mean you take everything that's, that's, that they've given you, but you take one or two things where you can use to readjust. Because sometimes you might be going through something thinking that it's only you. But when you discuss with the other men, oh, that happened to you too. Oh, really? Then you understand that it's not only you. You understand what I'm saying? So... There are a lot of things that we discuss apart from me, just like Tanjima said. I, I also I don't do the weekend thing. Uh, I like to stay indoors most of the time. And uh, in fact, recently I discovered uh, the wife I've been married to, or the lady I've been with for almost ten years now. I never knew she was a gamer. I just suddenly said, "I'm going to get PS Five, blah 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 blah," and I got it. And the next thing, if I could, she beat you. She downloaded about that combat and started flood giving us like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey. So I had to like sit down and started studying the moves, memorizing them. I said, I like, how can we say this? I was like, you're beating me in motor combat. It doesn't work now. You know, that kind yeah. of so I'm that kind of person that I'm always looking for ways to make sure I stay with my wife. In the evenings, in, in the apartment we're living before, we just throw our trash in just one place. But here in this, our new house, she sorts everything, plastic here, paper bag okay. here, mm -hmm. so that the, the general trash, we leave it for the trash people to come and carry it. But the, the other sorted ones, she wants us to take a walk in the evening so that we can go throw it together, bonding time and all those things. So those are the things that we kind of come up with in our own marriage that makes us sane, makes us be vent our uh, love for ourselves and be connected. Not that I don't hang out with my friends, I do. And when, it, when I say I want to go and see my friends, she knows, bye-bye, go, enjoy yourself. Especially when I'm going to play football, she doesn't go. But both okay. parties, women go and hang out with their friends, and I encourage that as well. Yeah. People should, marriage is not prison. Everybody should go enjoy yeah. themselves. The yeah, women should go. Right. They should do things. And I, 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 I encourage people to do group outings. It's always good. Four yeah. couples, all of you go out. You have more things to talk about and laugh and gist and all that. Yeah, we, Sometimes we if it's only two of you, it might not be even as fun as it was but if it's a group or you know you guys four people five people you will laugh you have dinners and you just have a laugh mm. uh, so it sometimes i believe that the man should leave to cool off his head the woman should leave her turns to cool off and sometimes she leave you with the children you can help with the children and she can yeah. she can go on and she can come back so i don't okay. believe it's a prison if you to me whatever a man would do we do whether he's inside the house outside the house 
you know something? <laughs> what a woman would do, she would do, whether she's inside the house, outside the house, because some women say they're going to work. Do you know if it's work they're really going? Some men say they're yeah. going to work. Is it really work they're going? So just don't deceive yourself. Don't bother yourself about all those things. Focus on what you have. And if if it shall allow to work, if it works, if it doesn't work, so be it. Okay. I think we'll leave you at that. Although with the singles, I'm interested in what Francis and Kiyam do at their weekends. Do you guys play football or hang with these two married men? No comment. They then just no comment. annoy you. No, no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Okay. No, no, we shall discuss that in the next <laughs> outing with the boys. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Guys, you've heard it all. <laughs> we wish marriages the very best. If Kiyom, anything, Kiyom, so you want to say something? No, I would, I just wanted to let him know that I don't really go out until if I have something that will take me outside. Right. I it's better. You mind. see, sometimes it's not good to be roaming the streets. Devil is always looking for who to use. Yeah. Don't let Thank devil you. use you. Stay at home. <laughs> Thank you. So I like, like I said, out. you like to go out. Francis, like there's nothing bad in that. At least that way. You make as long as you have control over your what's it. You know, it's not marriage now. He doesn't have a job. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> he has a girlfriend. He's in a relationship. Thank but they're not married yet. They, yes. Well, they're in a committed relationship. Thank Guys, you. Thank you. Soon, soon for soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank 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 Guys, it's been a pleasure as per usual. Yeah. I'm loving this panel. You guys always bring yeah. your 110%. And as you can see, viewers, Trash It is the place to be. Be there or be square. Yeah. Now, we premiere every Saturday at 9.30. And we are on Pop Central, if you are in Africa, on Channel 189 DSTV. Sundays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. We come up weekly with juicy topics. You get to come have your time with us or come in when we have the live premiere. And it's a family out there. I think Kiyom and Funshaw and Danjima, they're just yeah. something else. I can never do when these guys get to it on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So until next week, thanks for joining us. And as usual, we love having you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.